Hi guys, this is Mohan Pober, and today I'm going to talk to you about Marcus Lemonis and the people process product uh, thing. And I'm going to show you how to implement the PPP plan in your businesses. So let's get to it. Subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about business and more about things that basically Marcus Lemonis is doing. Uh, I promise you, you won't regret it. Just uh, subscribe below and uh, comment and hit the, the bell button. So yeah, to begin with, I'm a huge fan of Marcus Lemonis and the TV show The Profit. I love it. Actually, the, the TV show The Profit and Shark Tank were probably one of the first reasons for me to, to get into this space. Like I, I remember watching TV shows like Shark Tank and The Profit and I was like, damn, I want to be like those people. Exactly. And he, that's what literally led me to this world of buying businesses, of helping businesses. And I, I love it. Like the fact that you can get into businesses, help people grow those businesses and help more people. And yeah, I really like the fact that Marcus Lemonis is really making everything simple. Obviously, he can make things much more overwhelming about business and talk about it forever. But the fact that he's making things so simple, he's basically putting everything into people, process, product, and he's basically saying to every business that he's getting into, hey, those are the first things we're going to look into. Everything that we can make better in business comes down to those three main things people, process, product. And as long as we can optimize each of those things, we can make the business work, make it profitable and grow it. And that's what he's doing with all of his businesses. Obviously he got his failures, but he got lots of great successes in the TV show. Um, I love watching that TV show. And I wish someone will give me to do a TV show like that uh, as well in the future. That's my plan. I love that. And yeah, if maybe if you're a videographer and, and like to do those things, maybe even, um, Send me a message and we'll, we'll try to do something like that so online, like the profit, but on YouTube. I'd love to do something like that. I think it's so cool. And um, I, I think it's going to add so much value to people. Just the fact that, hey, you can get into business and I'll, we'll show you everything like the back end, how we buy the deal, obviously, first of all, and how we then uh, optimize the business and try to grow it. But, but this video is all about how we look at people, process and product and what do we need to look into each of those and what are kind of like the first things that someone can do when he's getting into business, when looking at those three things. And to begin with, I'm, I'm not even close to Marcus Lemon. It's like Marcus, I think he owns like, last time I heard, uh, like 107 businesses or something like that. Obviously, he's not involved in the day to day, uh, but that's pretty much what we do. Again, if you want to learn more about that, just watch the other videos. But that's what we do. We go into businesses, we buy them, and then we have someone manage the business for us. So obviously, and you see that in the TV show, he's buying those businesses, he's changing the strategy and the way the business works, but then he's trusting his people um, to run those businesses for him. And that's what we do um, with our firm. I'm gonna show you kind of like what I believe Marcus is doing in those businesses and what we're doing in the businesses that we're looking to. And let's start. Now, first of all, you need to remember that all those things in the end of the day, the goal is to bring in returns, to bring in capital back to the shareholder, to the investor. Um, that's the goal. That's the only reason to, to have a business, to obviously make some money, but then make sure your sh other shareholders are happy. That's literally all, all that business is for, is to make the shareholders happy and give them great returns if they invested their own money, obviously. Um, that's the goal with a business. I just want you to focus on that because everything we do in a business, you gotta have the vision behind it, why we even do those things, what's the outcome. It's easy to say, hey, let's do this and that, but let's understand that, hey, there's, there's a reason for everything. Uh, I just want to put it into kind of like a, the right perspective before we start to, to move into those things. So let's get into action. Let's assume, and I'm going to put myself into a position that I'm kind of like Marcus. I just got into a business. We just bought a business. What are the first things we want to look into to make the, the, the most amount of change uh, as fast as possible? How can we make sure that we get into a business that maybe even distressed, maybe it's not doing that well. How can we make sure we provide and, and bring in the best, fastest result as soon as possible? So let's start with people. First thing, people. We want to make sure we have superstars in the business. And I'm going to walk through each, each of the uh, people process product fast and then I'm going to expand on it. So people first, we want to make sure we have superstars in the business. The second thing is the process. And the process, when he's talking about process, Obviously, there, there's tons of different processes in the business, but the main one, especially when you get into a business, is the sales process. You want to optimize that as much as possible and ideally make sure that you have a one main sales process that everyone in the firm is familiar with, everyone follow that one thing, and they're not just everyone trying different things. You want to have one clear sales process that everyone follows and basically, um, I guess, working with 
the exact steps that you gave them, making sure you're optimizing each of those steps. But yeah, let's, let's get into it in a second. So second thing is the process. And yeah, the third thing is just the product, making sure everyone knows about the product, what, what is our main product, how can we make it better. Let's dive now into each one of those, the people process products. What do we do first? What are the things we can do to optimize? Uh, let's start with uh, people. So as soon as you get into a business, the first thing you want to make sure is that you have good people. Now, how do you do that? Obviously, you don't know the people for too long. Um, and many times, to, in my opinion, to actually get to know a person for real, you need to know him for at least one or two years. Otherwise, you just, I, I don't care, even with friends or anyone you like in relationships, whatever, I, you think you need to know someone for at least one or two years and know him closely to really understand who is that person. There are ways to know those things faster. And that's why we're using assessments for employees. There are companies and consultants who can help you assess employees in the business based on based on surveys, based on other criteria and, and tasks that employees can do, where you can pretty, pretty fast realize and understand who you have in your team. And in the end of the day, your goal is to only keep superstars. Now, with, with employees in general and superstars or any employee, they are more important than the clients, in my opinion, because when you have uh, happy employees, they will make sure your clients are happy. So you, as the owner, as the main shareholder, you gotta make sure that your employees are happy. When they'll be happy, they'll make sure they make the clients happy. So really, really focus on that. I just wanna really emphasize that. Not only that you need to do assessments and figure out who's in your team, you wanna make sure that they're happy. Whatever it takes, you gotta make sure your employees are happy before your clients even. Otherwise, if your employees are not happy, they won't give a shit about your clients. They'll, they'll be like, oh, the owner don't care about me. Why would I care about the, the client? So a few things with employees. When you get, in, in get into a new business, another thing you wanna do is to ideally bring in new blood to hire new people um, because whenever you have new energy in a team, you have competition, you have people trying to prove themselves. Especially, we talked about the sales process, about process, and we're gonna expand on it soon. But in sales, in my opinion, competition is key. You want to make sure you have people who are hungry, hungry for sales, hungry to make money. So you always want to bring in new people. Obviously, you want to make sure you have superstars in all of your um, tasks in the business. So there's a few ways to do that. One of them is obviously to just bring in people from the external market. But if you want to really find superstars, like legit, high, good, good quality of, 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 of employees, the way you can do this is to buy other business with good employees. And that's the business, the biggest businesses out there, their way for them to find good talent is many times to just go and buy a business with that talent instead of trying to. So, so, so it, it basically creates two things. One of them is you don't need to start everything on your own. You just buy a business that already got that specific, uh, I guess, revenue generating activity. You just, instead of doing everything on your own internally, you just buy one but you don't just buy the revenue many times you just buy because of the quality of those people they created such an amazing company because of who they are so when you buy them many times you can just bring them into your firm and like we said in other videos those synergies those cross-selling opportunities are just amazing when you bring in the right talent with each other so yeah you, you always want to also look inside your business many times there are so many good opportunities to promote uh, good talent. There are so many good people and you gotta make sure you're doing your assessments and promoting those talents. You wanna make sure you're using their energy and helping the business grow that way. Um, and again, it's either by hiring someone or just go and buy a, an existing company like that if you find an amazing talent there. So again, people, you want to do a combination of hiring, of um, buying talent, and when you buy talent and, and buy and bring in talent, you basically bring in their track record as well. So it's a combination of promoting, of bringing track record, and then also um, getting rid of the low percentage. So after your assessments, when you get to know the business, you wanna make sure every time you do small changes and you take the bottom, uh, I guess, those who are, are just not ready for the quality that you're looking for, and you replace them with ideally superstars who are just gonna make sure everything is is working and growing. And yeah, obviously you're probably gonna say, hey, you don't want people to freak out, right? When you get into a business, you wanna make sure everyone is happy. Uh, you don't wanna freak out with bringing too much people and firing too much people without explaining what's going on. So whenever you do those things, especially in a new business, make sure you explain your values to the employees. Make sure you're having one-on-one -on -one conversations if needed and making sure that you explaining them, you showing empathy, but then you also explaining to them, hey, I want to grow and this is how I see the business, those are my values. You'll see that good people, especially in the sales team, they like competition, they like that the challenge. 
and they'll understand that you just want to grow the business because that will help you make sure that they are making more money as well if they're going to prove themselves as superstar and those who are really superstars they're going to love it they're going to be up to the challenge they're going to be uh, actually excited by the fact that they can have potentially people with much more track record and experience coming in and explaining them uh, what can be done better so they can grow as well so as long as you explain that you have those values you want to make it win-win but you want to make sure your company grows and getting rid of the bottom uh, i guess those who are, are less um, producing as long as you do that in a nice em empathizing way then, then you'll be good and when you look into people in general it's not just their skills in the business you want to make sure they're good with people with their rapport with their leadership uh, obviously with their actual skill in the in the job so you always want to combine all those things together when you assess someone so it's not just one specific skill it's it's all of those it's rapport it's leadership it's their specific talent so make sure you look at all of those things when you're looking into people and again to summarize the people area of, of our people process product is make sure you have superstars make sure you bring in new energy and make sure you're getting rid of those who, who just don't qualify now let's move into the process when you when we're talking about process whenever you get into every new business you want to make sure you know a few key things you want to know hey here's how i'll take the product i know what my product is i know what it's worth i know what's the quality i know i can make it better the product is key then you want to understand the process of how i'm going to attack the market where i'm going to, where I'm going to find clients what's going to my sales process is going to look like you want to really focus on that as well and another few things you want to make sure you want to make sure you know who are your competitors you really want to learn them really really well and you want to know your customers really really well so where they hang out where they're going to what websites they're using you really want to know those things when you start to look into a process of a business and whenever you understand those things you can go into your process and optimize it much better when you have the basics and I guess the the fundamentals of knowing your competitors your clients and understanding all those things really really well now with with process and I'm talking mostly sales process because initially when you get into business you really want to focus on that on just making sure you're bringing in more revenues more cash because you don't want to get to a point where you're running out of cash that's key so whenever you're getting into a new business the first thing you want to do is make sure you have one very very simple sales process that everyone understand and they can follow to the T now with, with sales process if you don't know exactly how to optimize it always bring in consultants don't be afraid to to get advice from people who already know your industry or, or that specific industry much better than you you can bring in consultant consultants who are in that space for many time 10 20 years they can bring in their ideas from other businesses and really help you optimize things and it's about making sure that you go out there and find clients wherever they already spend time with if they're spending time on facebook you want to make sure you're promoting on facebook if they're spending time on newspapers making sure that you have the promotions there as well so yeah make sure you know how customers are buying your products make sure you know your funnel where do you promote your product where you do you advertise and, and always make sure you have a very simple funnel from prospecting from looking at a client initially and then prospecting them into your funnel until they're becoming clients and also don't be afraid to, to talk to clients don't be afraid to interview them to call them to even meet some of your key main clients to understand what the process looks like how did they join to work with you what do they like about working with you or don't like and always always make sure you're optimizing things because if you're going to stop i mean your competitors are not going to stop so you always want to be renovating and, and initiating new things because in the end of the day your customers especially nowadays with the internet they know many times so much about things before they buy them so for example if you have a specific product that you're selling you want to make sure that your sales team know much more about the product than your customers because one example when you want to buy something if you see that the salesperson don't know as much about the product as you uh, it just it's not looking good it's not looking uh, legit so you really want to make sure you're educating your sales team about the product make sure they really really know about it and make sure you have your funnel tracked that's so important so many times with businesses that i see yes they have some simple sales process they know where they advertise they have the sales their funnel leading to salespeople but they never track things they don't know how many leads they had coming in this week or how many leads converted into clients and when you don't track those things you don't know what you need to make better so always make sure you track things that alone can help you so much just by knowing hey this is my numbers from lead to a client this is how i can optimize things this is my numbers from a client to a second purchase always track everything in your business 
and, and what I just said lead me to the product. So we know the process, but then coming down to the product, this is crucial guys, knowing that you have the best product out there and always looking at your competitors and thinking, hey, what can I do better? How can I optimize my product and add more value to clients? Maybe if not with price, maybe I can just add more value in other ways, maybe add some more services for free as a bonus and do some kind of a bundle. Always think about those things. And it comes down to just having a good education system with your team. You really want to have some kind of uh, weekly or monthly or obviously depends on your industry, but you want to have classes to your people. You want to always make sure you're educating your team because I mean, competitors are out there. They're always changing as well. And you want to make sure you always change too. And whenever you change, you want to explain those changes to your clients and educate them on changes in the market, on changes in the product on the value that you can add now compared to what you could last month. So always educate your employees. And if you don't do that, you're just missing so much because like I said, competitors are, are working their ass off to making sure they're providing as much value as you or even more. Um, so definitely focus on that. And hey, by the way, I, f I forgot to say, if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah, hit the notification button because I'm going to make much more videos about um, how to grow businesses, how to buy businesses. I mean, all this channel is mostly about how to buy businesses um, and making sure other people manage those businesses for you. And yeah, even if you don't have much capital or experience, you can get into this space. It's just a matter of, of learning the process. So yeah, subscribe and let's continue. Now let's let's give you an example. So for example, if you want to buy something like, like a lucrative car, right? You many times learn about that car for days, for weeks sometimes. So you know so much about the car, you go into that sales um, you, you want to buy the car, you go there, you look at the car and then you're talking to the sales rep and you figure that, hey, that person don't know shit about the car. I know more about him. He's not, he's not uh, official. He's not, he's not any informative than me. Um, so why would I buy it from him? I don't know. It looks like he's just amateur. So, and I just gave the example of cars. Obviously, car is very different. But when we're talking about B2B services or just B2C uh, products, it, it just things just don't look good if you don't look like a, a legit uh, professional who really know your product and your industry. And going back to tracking all those funnels is whenever you track things, you have forecast and forecasts are so important because when you have a legit forecast going on, you see what's going on, you have warning, sig warning signals, uh, I guess in advance, you know, Hey, here's what happens here. What, how the forecast looks like. Here's my cash flow situation. How can I change things? How can I make things better? So forecast is so key, knowing your numbers and knowing how things will look like um, in a few months, in a year or two, and realizing potential challenges now for those challenges that will come even in, in a year or two. And it's about constantly changing. So after a while, you want to always bring in new people and get to a point where you have so many superstars in the team that work in, in a synergy that you get to a point where one plus one equal four and not two. And, and it all comes down to the people, make sure your product is so good and obviously the process and you have the right sales process, you have a, a tracking um, system for all of that and that's how you grow. Now after you did all that and you have a good fundamental, uh, I guess good fundamentals, what you want to do is go out there and look for partners. Now big, big partners, that's how you grow. Uh, it, it's almost like growing by acquisitions but you're basically taking advantage and leveraging their network, their clients, their lists obviously depends on the industry and all that. But whenever you have good fundamentals, you know that you can bring in a lead and have a, a, a very nice process to sell that lead. Then you can go to partners who have, I guess, similar type of clients to yours and bring them to the funnel and grow like crazy. But you got to have those good fundamentals first, the great people that you have that know your product really well and your sales process is legit and really, really strong, then whenever you go out there and look for partners who can bring in more traffic, obviously it depends internet, offline, it doesn't matter, but it can bring in more volume to your business, you know that your fundamentals can handle that and then you can grow. There's no limit to how much you can grow, it's just a matter of how much more partners you can bring. And in the end of the day, it comes down to just having really, really good team because and, and motivating them, you know, when you bring in superstars, they're all going to have such a great you know, they say that you're the average of the five, five, five people you hang out with the most. So when you bring in more superstars, they're all going to elevate each other. And then you want to make sure that they're motivated. Find a way to incentivize them to be motivated because having 50 motivated people is much better than having 100 people who just don't give a shit about the business. The way you do it is you sell your vision. You sell the vision of the company. You sell the why of the company, why we're doing what we're doing, who will we help. 
just sell your vision whatever you feel about the business just always share that share don't be afraid to don't keep everything to yourself you want to share if you're excited about the business you want to make sure everyone knows about that excitement and basically get the same type of feeling for them um, like i said motivation of of employees is so key otherwise they'll just be there lazy waiting for their day to end but when you have someone who motivated to understand the value and the cause of that the business they'll work for as many hours as needed they'll understand that they do things for so much more than just money and that's where businesses are really growing and you'll also find out that with superstars they care much more about equity than just uh, i guess salaries or income and when you bring in people don't be afraid to share equity in your dreams in your businesses i mean that's how they have skin in the game that's how they feel ownership in that business and you'll see like really good people they don't really care about the just the salary they'll want peace in the in the in the business so don't be afraid to give it to them don't be uh, when you have superstar where you can give them equity you'll see you grow so fast and i said it before you rather have 20 percent in a large company than 100 percent in, in a very small one and all those things in the end of the day are to make sure that you have enough cash and mostly that you have good working capital and you just don't want to get to a point where you go and raise capital and, and basically dilute your shares. So always make sure you have those right projections. And that's where forecasting is really important. Understand, hey, I have this amount of capital. Go and get quick wins. And, and quick wins are basically making sure you're going and getting sales. Because when the business is growing with sales and bringing good cash flow and you have good management in place where you know how to, uh, I guess, get enough working capital all the time, I mean, you're good to go. And I'll always make sure you have backups, you have the right credits. In, in the end of the day, businesses that shut down, they shut down because they don't have um, cash. They don't have working capital to work with. So that's the number one key importance for you. When you work on those fundamentals, you bring in sales, then your working capital is good. That's how you can grow. And it's a, it's a really fine line to, between overspending and, and growing. You, know, you really need to find the balance to have the right working capital so you can, can continue to grow. And also make sure that you, you're focused. You, you need to be focused. You need to go to, when you, especially when you get into a new business, don't try to sell to everyone. Be really specific about your target market and master that specific sector first before you try to expand to different areas. And other thing, and again, we, we have the fundamentals, but just wanna give a few quick tips. So for example, with your process and with your sales team, for example, you wanna make sure they're focused on getting big clients. So if you have really like, it's like everything in life you have the 80 20 80 percent of the sales people eventually will bring you 80 percent of the results so make sure those 20 percent those superstars are focused on bringing in the big type of clients to the business always innovate always grow always keep educating your people always have the right forecast those fundamentals guys business is just fundamentals in the end of the day business is just making sure more money coming in than money going out and when you have those good basics coming going on for you i mean growth is inevitable and always have that mindset of growth of your product is never good enough always innovate always grow because your competitors they're not going to wait out there for you and, and and let you take all their sales they're probably going to innovate as well so always keep doing those things as well and I'll, I'll finish with making sure you have good streams of leads because whenever you have good lead flow that's the one number one key importance because Yes, you can get better salespeople and have, I guess change the conversion rate between lead to a sale. But at the end of the day, when you find the right people, there's only so much you can do to take a lead and turn it into a sale. The conversions might change in a few percentages here and there with a better process to sell and stuff like that. But in the end of the day, if you have non-stop stream of leads coming in, that's the way to ensure you're growing. So really make sure that you're focused on bringing in more leads because like i said yes you can always train your salespeople to be better and that's why like i said educating and making better product but don't forget that the the first the first line is to bring in enough leads to to potential uh to turn them into potential customers yeah that's um so yeah i'll, fi I'll, I'll finish that that's pretty much all those are really good fundamentals that if you just focus on them with a the people process product you'll be gold and, and yeah make sure Make sure you're focused on client satisfaction and also employee satisfaction, like we said. We want to make sure both are happy and it starts with making sure your employees are happy. When you'll have those, when both are happy, you'll have a good business with the fundamentals that we said, with the right people, the right process, sales process, keep it simple, with the right product, do all that 
and you'll be gold. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, I love Marcos Lemones. I think his stuff is amazing. He's, he's one of my biggest inspiration. Um, I definitely hope to, to meet him one day and, and tell him thank you for all the inspiration that, that uh, he gave me to, to go out there and help small businesses and help them grow. And, and um, really, he got me excited into being in, in so many different businesses and so many different sectors. Like I love seeing his, his work in so many different types of businesses. But I like how he's bringing it all back to fundamentals, to people, process, product, and how he's making everything work. So uh, I love his show and I'm going to continue watching it. And I, I really suggest you to watch it as well if you didn't yet. And yeah, if you like this type of content and you want to learn more about pretty much what Marcus Lemonis is doing, but uh, after his show, that's, that's what this channel is all about. And uh, I hope you enjoy it and subscribe if you like it. Comment below, let me know what you think. If you want more videos like this or, or just anything else, um, just comment and let me know and uh, I'll see you soon. So let's 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 start with that. Let's start with that.